All right, what is the issue on this beautiful Saturday morning? We got another hose that decided to bust on us. So we down here one of my shops. Did I bring my hoses too? Get right, get tight. But of course, we already knew about the end right now. We already knew that aluminum, the aluminum ears always, uh, saying always eat through them. This is a waste of money. They'll never get the aluminum. Go with this material right here. I ain't had one fail yet. So we're going to throw this in the trash, this end. We're going to buy those, of course. We're going to uh, get new clamps. And this hole's got to be cut too. So I'm going to show you where we're going to cut it. Give me a second. If you notice, well, my holes is always get, <laughs> I always get all the money out of them. We down here at Midwest Holes and Specialty, also down here in Odessa's Tids is the only place that Andrew uses for his pneumatic hoses. Now, as you can see right there, right there, there it is. Look at that. Look at that right there. You see that cut? Look at that cut right there. You see that? Boom, right there. We got sand shooting through that uh sand shooting through that way more than it is shooting through here if i didn't have this cut right here i would have put some jb well seal up there and i would have kept using this hose but since i got to come here to have it cut we're gonna cut it like right here cut it right here i'm gonna go ahead and drop that fit and drop them clamps too and uh, we're gonna get a that type of end one of them iron ends and uh this hose should be good to go so that's where we at with it today. Got to keep everything nice and tight. And make sure that's all we need. Inspect the whole thing. See, I did this end down here. I put the uh, correct fitting on the end down here, but I didn't do it for the end down now. It used to be aluminum on both ends, but obviously the aluminum ate through that one and then it ate through this one. So that's where we at on this beautiful Saturday morning. It's just a short video to let y'all know what's going on with Andrew. As far as the trailer, no issues with the trailer. Everything is working perfect. We ain't had to replace nothing. The gauges, the uh, gaskets, the piping, landing gear, lights, everything is working perfectly. No issues whatsoever. Uh... Yeah, that's it. That's all to it. No issues whatsoever. Still getting our money out them old tires. So, that's where we at with it. If they go in here, like I said, get that hose cut. And uh, get a new fitting. Probably run me about $60, $70 to get that iron fitting. Because I think these right here are like $30. They cheap, but they only last 30 days. 